Good morning, everybody. So at E3, you may have known that Bethesda announced Nuclear Winter, which is a new game mode for Fallout 76. Now, I may be alone, but I did not know this was going to happen. Did you? Like, I wasn't paying a extreme amount of attention to Fallout 76 at the time. So I may have missed some uh, hints that they were dropping that this BR Battle Royale mode was coming. But it was a surprise to me. I don't know about the rest of you. Anyway, so Nuclear Winner is Bethesda's take on Battle Royale. It is pretty much what you would expect from a Battle Royale. You can drop in solo team. You loot stuff. You fight till the last person or team is standing. Now, they, of course, added their own flair to it with uh, there's some PvE elements. So there are non-player character creatures involved. And, of course, what would a Fallout game be without nuclear weapons? So they're in there, too. There's also some semblance of a season pass uh, with their overseer ranks where, you know, you get more experience and do stuff you get more ranks you get cosmetics and things uh as rewards for those ranks so it's like a season pass i don't know how they plan on doing it in the future they just call it overseer ranks and it gives you access to different parts of uh the the uh the vault that you're in that there's a whole story they put around it because you know it is a bethesda game so they have to have some story which is great However, you know, is this what Fallout 76 needed? Maybe. I, I'm not a huge Battle Royale fan for for one good reason. Well, probably a few good reasons. But the main reason is, you know, I, I like games with some feeling of progression. And not just skill progression, like getting better at it. Maybe I, I just, I'm not going to get much better and be the best nuclear winter player i like fallout 76 main game because you know you progress your character you progress all your stuff there's progression and that's why i like in my role-playing games and that's why i don't really play any battle royale games because you, you do progress in skill but not really anything else but the interesting thing with all this is is the parallels with fortnite so you know if you remember fortnite Fortnite first launched with uh, as a PVE co-op game with some building and against NPCs. I have it. I bought it on Xbox. So before Fortnite, I, I had the before Battle Royale became the default mode. I used to play. I played the PVE game. It was all right, but you know it wasn't doing well. And so Epic and the Fortnite developers came up with this uh, a great idea of the Battle Royale, which completely dominated the PvE game to a point where Save the World is, you know, they just kind of pay lip service to it, as far as I can tell, because people bought the game for it, and that's nice of them, and that's great. Do they have to keep doing that? Probably not. Does it? Do they make any money off of that? I'd be surprised. But they keep doing it. So, you know, Fortnite Save the World struggled when it came out. Fallout 76 struggled when it came out. Yeah, Fortnite released a Battle Royale mode, which made it the most popular game in the world. And now Bethesda's dropping a Battle Royale game, a mode for Fallout 76. Are they hoping to recreate the success uh, that Fortnite had? I don't think that'll happen. I, honestly, I don't think Fallout 76's engine was really made for this. But, you know, people seem to enjoy it. So if it works, it works. Great. But, you know, my concern is if it does happen to be very successful, what is that going to mean for the the main Fallout 76 game? Will it go the way of, you know, save the world and just kind of fade off into the distance? And Bethesda will only concentrate on Nuclear Winter? I sure hope not because, you know, I... I am not interested in playing Nuclear Winter in the long run. Sure, I might play it sometimes, but it's a separate game mode. 
it, it doesn't really have much to do with Fallout 76, just like Save the World has nothing to do with Battle Royale, except for maybe some cosmetic things that can cross over. I don't know. But there's no meaningful difference or progression. So will Fallout, will Nuclear Winner end up killing Fallout 76? Maybe. I don't, I hope not. I really do. But, you know, is this Nuclear Winner kind of a last chance to get Fallout 76 going? To bring, uh, is there a goal to bring people into the Fallout 76? I guess I'll call it ecosystem. Now that there's three game modes, but the people they bring in, will they just stay in Nuclear Winter? And if they do, you know, and they make Bethesda makes money off that more than the other modes, what incentive are they going to have to keep developing those other modes? There may not be any. So it'll be interesting to see what they end up. What happens with Nuclear Winter? It could end up nuking uh, the rest of Fallout 76 if it's successful. If it's not successful, the time and money they put into Nuclear Winter, will that drag down the rest of the game into Oblivion? I don't know. I hope not. You know, this reminds me of a time way back when with Warhammer Online. So Warhammer Online was an MMO, my favorite game of all time, by the way. And, you know, it had its struggles. I still loved it. No, there's no doubting that, about that. I played it from beta until sunset. Uh, I don't regret any of that time. It was an amazing game. I had so much fun. I met a lot of great people. It, it was great. But it, it struggled since launch. And at one point, they introduced a new game called Wrath of Heroes. Now, Wrath of Heroes is honestly ahead of its time i think if wrath of heroes was released today it would be it would have been much more popular it's basically a lobby based arena kind of game where with the warhammer lore and some of the mmo uh hot key skill key kind of targeting three versus th three team combat uh, and with all that Warhammer lore, and there was all this talk about, you know, having a, a synergy, I'll use that word, between Warhammer Online and Wrath of Heroes, where they could each feed into each other. Now, whether that happened or not is up for debate, but War, uh, Wrath of Heroes was kind of uh, the Hail Mary that would try to keep uh, Warhammer Online going. And it, it, sadly, it didn't work. Warhammer Online and Wrath of Heroes were both sunsetted. Now, I think, honestly, I do think if Wrath of Heroes was, was ahead of its time. Those kind of games are much more popular today than they were back then. But, you know, it's not all bleak. Bethesda did announce that more content is coming for Fallout 76, so they have the Wasteland Wastelanders additions coming up which seems to be a pretty beefy update with npc characters so it does feel like at least they are still working on the fallout 76 portion of the game however i do have to wonder like what about what if all those re like what could have they done with those resources that they put into nuclear winter back into fallout 76 proper but then again it, it's more complicated than that it comes down to cost-benefit analysis based on the status of Fallout 76. You know, maybe they determined that financially it was better to try to get an influx of players into the game with a new game mode rather than improving on the existing game modes. That's a tough decision for, for developers to make. And I remember these discussions with the Warhammer Online staff. And, you know, they... They have visibility in the situations that us on the outside do not. So I'm not going to, you know, judge them one way or the other. Personally, I would love to have the, all that effort go into Fallout 76. But, you know, I just came back to the game. Where was I the last few months uh, talking about this game, promoting this game, playing this game? So really, I don't have much of a right to to say much. 
I, I, re, I, I mean, ideally, their plan works. Nuclear Winter is popular. It brings more players into the other game modes. Fallout 76 in total becomes popular. And I really hope that happens. So what do you think? Do you think that Nuclear Winter will be po popular? Do you think it'll bring players back into both, all the game modes? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.